Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So today, I wanted to talk a bit about some of the game patches and how much easier it's going to be to apply those today. So if you are not familiar with Illusion, basically he builds and makes a number of different game patches. So here is his site and over on his site you can see there's a number of different games that's like located inside of this. So you could maybe, you know, pick one of these. Maybe we'll grab like a Grand Theft Auto or something like that. And you can see that for the most part, what he does is turns on 60 frames per second unlocks and really just a whole bunch more, including the ability to skip maybe some of those long, boring you know, company intro screens uh, before a game starts. So there's a number of different patches that he's built. Now, one thing that I will say for the most part is, is that in order to apply those patches, it typically takes a little bit of know-how in order to get that done. So for the most part, you know, you would come over here to his site, you would say, okay, that this is for use with the Pi Patch program that he has. And then here is an installation guide. You click on the installation guide and then there's just a number of different instructions on how to actually patch these games. Well, I'm very pleased to announce that that is pretty much a thing of the past and now we have a much better method. So if I go over to this page right here on Twitter, now this was by Chameleon and he said preview, use this at your own risk, but if you're using Goldhand 2.2.5b7, it has the ability to process Illusions patches. So how to use it in conjunction with Goldhen Cheat Manager 1.00. So the very first thing that you're going to need to do is come over here and download the following test.prx from this site right here. And basically this is just a mega.nz site. So I've went ahead and downloaded it. And then you're going to need this Goldhen Cheat Manager 1.00. Now I went ahead and I've clicked on this link and it will take you over to the Gold Hen Cheat Manager and on the releases page, if you scroll down, you'll find a PKG file here. You're going to want to go ahead and download that. As you can tell down at the bottom, I've already downloaded it. Number two is to place it inside the following path. So slash data slash gold hen slash plugins and then test.prx. And then it says number three, open the Gold Hen Cheat Manager and go to the patches section, find your game and enable the patches you want to use. And then the fourth step is execute your game and it'll notify you at boot time how many patches were applied. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place a USB thumb drive in my computer and I'm going to copy these files over. So now in order to begin, we are going to need to have the very latest version of Gold Hen, the B7 or Beta 7 running in order to take advantage of this. So I am connected to the internet right now. And so I'm going to go to my browser here. We're going to go to R2 right here. We'll just take Lethal PS5, load Gold Hen 2.2.5 B7. Okay, so Gold Hen is definitely running now. We can see the icon up in the top. Let's go ahead and take that USB drive that we had and plug that one now in. I'm going to go over to PS4 Explorer 2.0 where we will set up the correct package to install and then set up the folder. I'm just going to go down to mount USB 0 and there is the plugin folder. I'm going to press triangle here and I'm going to select copy. I'm going to press circle, circle. Now we're going to go into data, gold hen, and then just anywhere in here, we're going to press the triangle button and then just paste. And then if we go inside of plugins here, we will see that test.prx file. So let's go ahead and let's go back down. And now let's just install the Gold Hens Cheat Manager 1.00. So L2X. Okay. So now we have that. Okay. And it has been installed. So we'll go ahead and we will go into it. By the way, 
very nice icon that they have now. That's a brand new icon. Okay, so the very first thing that I want to do is while I'm already in here, I want to go ahead and update all of the cheats that are currently on my system with the very latest and greatest cheats. So now I'm sitting here at 1,872 cheat files. There it just said successfully installed 145 patch files. So these are basically all of the patches that Illusion has created over his lifetime. Go to patches here. And so you will be given this full list of game patches right here. So this is for every game that they've made a patch for. Now there is an option that you can hit the triangle button here to filter only based off of the games that you have on your system. So in this instance, I've just simply got Elden Ring and then Horizon Forbidden West on my system that has the ability to run one of these patches on. So if I go and I look, I've got right here Horizon Forbidden West running at CUSA 28561.01.17. And again, you can see right here that matches that. So what you could do is you could go directly into this and then you could turn on these patches. So there's the one for 60 and then right over here is the one for disable initial boot on first startup. And let's go ahead and let's begin opening Horizon. Now, one thing that I do believe that it is supposed to have already done at this point is, is that up at the top left hand corner shown how many patches were just applied i didn't see any of those i do believe that this is something that will probably be fixed and ironed out you know probably by the time you're even watching this but anyway thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one michael out